What's up, Admiral? Up for a field trip? Aren't we supposed to head back? There's something you must see. Let us go. are sealed. Guess he wants us to see it firsthand. We're here. Let's drop. This way. You sure sniffs something out, eh? type of webbing. No. A shroud. No way! In countless times here. Does that mean? Hmm. Just as I suspected. Something bad is brewing. We must hold counsel. Hmm. Let's hurry. Gather around, everyone. Let's run down what we know. The Fifth discovered a new area in the Guiding Land that resembles the Hoarfrost Reach, and sighted a subspecies of Xenogre to boot. Thanks to their efforts, it looks like we'll be able to start a thorough investigation of the region. Good work, you guys. Then there's that molted skin we found deep within the Earth. And to add to all that, our team sighted some enormous red monster. Correct. This gigantic monster has several unique traits, and I attempted to compare it to documented monsters, but unfortunately not everything adds up. We may have a completely new, unknown monster on our hands. Hmm. But wasn't that Xenojiva down there? Given how we found the place, it must have matured and molted its skin numerous times. We can't say for certain. Which is why we must investigate at once. Got that right. Boss man, I have an idea. We'll go in with a small group to do some recon. 
Once we figure out what that thing is, we'll return with the larger group to start the investigation proper. For all we know, we could be going up against a three-headed monster that shoots lightning bolts. That's why before we get down to business, we need to observe it. Figure out what makes it tick. This thing must be something if you're not willing to go in head first, but I understand. We'll do it your way. Just promise me you'll turn back before you get in over your heads, all right? Understood. We won't tell it for very long. Well then, I'll go about... Partner! <laughs> your curiosity is getting the better of you, huh, kid? Don't worry. I know the feeling. There is no one better suited for the job than you, Hunter. All right, let's go over this one more time. First, we'll ready a special assignment just for this occasion. Then once we launch a full-scale investigation, we'll call for all available hunters to assemble in the gathering hub. The objective of this recon assignment will be to observe the monster's behavior. It probably goes without saying, but feel free to bring any other hunters that you can trust. We'll launch the full-scale operation once you return to base and we're able to examine your findings. That should cover everything. Stay safe out there. While you face off against the beast, I shall concentrate on trying to discover its true nature. All right. Looks like we got everything sorted out. Hunters, to the gathering hall! Get reckless. Everyone, get to the hitching post. Everyone, on the wing drapes. Ooh. Dang, the heck is this smell? Be on your guard out there.
further down in search of more energy? The lower levels may contain even more energy for it to suck up. Well done. It absorbed energy from its surroundings? That's correct. By doing so, it managed to naturally heal all of its wounds. Once it consumes a certain amount of energy, it heads for an even deeper location. We weren't able to verify it, but we believe it exhausts each area of energy before moving on. That's the theory coming from analytics. During the recon, I did my best to observe the area and surrounding ecology. What I discovered 
was an almost unfathomable difference, even between neighboring regions. You say that creature was absorbing energy, correct? This may be an absurd hypothesis, but perhaps that creature can control the energy it absorbs. It may be reshaping the very nature of these ecologies to meet its own needs. How is it possible that something like that could even exist? There's only one monster that I can think of that absorbs the energy of other creatures to speed its own growth. Your initial assumption was correct. It must be an adult version of Xenojiva. It may be doing this for its own preservation and propagation. That thing doesn't play well with others. There's no way these areas it's reshaping are for anything but itself. If a monster like that is allowed to multiply, this entire world's doomed. It may have disappeared this time, but I have no doubt it'll return to the same location soon. And we'll be waiting for it. Until then, we need to prepare. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Dismissed. <laughs>